Housing Choice Vouchers program has been cut. These vouchers are offered through the Spokane Housing Authority and help place families in permanent housing and give them rental assistance. Yeah, the program, which is federally funded, can no longer keep up with the rising housing and rental costs. Madeline Mullins has more on what programs are affected and how the community can help. Spokane Regional Health District was just one of the 19 organizations that were affected by this decision. It is definitely a scary situation. Organizations were told Wednesday by the Spokane Housing Authority that the voucher program would stop immediately. We had a client who was supposed to brief the day after we got that news and they are no longer going to be able to get their voucher. Emma Hughes is the CEO of Family Promise of Spokane. She says about 30% of the people there use this program. Housing vouchers are a big part of how we help families get in and maintain their housing on their own. Without this program, they're not sure what the next step is. It's going to most likely create a pool of people experiencing homelessness that we can't then continue to move through back into housing on their own. Hughes says that she does not want this to add to the hopelessness of the homelessness crisis. I want to make sure we still have hope even though this is really difficult. Hughes says one of the biggest ways those in the community can help is by being educated. I do think that it starts with getting curious, asking the kind of questions like, why is this such a big deal? She also says donating time or money can always help. But everybody has something to give, and I think then getting plugged into an organization that you feel is addressing this. Clawson and Hughes say they don't know the future of the Housing Choice Voucher Program, but in the meantime, they are finding ways to help the people in their organizations, and they encourage others in the community to do the same. In Spokane, Madeline Mullins, 4 News Now.